of these days I'm gonna get around to making a YouTube video called Bad MCAT Advice I've Seen on Reddit. But for now, here's one of the top things that I see students telling other students, some bad tutors telling students to do this, and I see a lot of it on things like online forums like Reddit or Discord. People telling people to skip the passages on the MCAT and just go straight into the questions. And granted, this sounds like a smart strategy because you're on this huge time crunch, whatever, but almost always backfires and I'm gonna tell you why. My name is Maggie, I'm a fourth year medical student. Before going to med school, I was a professional MCAT tutor. Now I run this business and this channel with my brother, John. We've been talking about the MCAT now for like six years. Not only talking about it, but we took it. And back when I took it um, before med school, I scored a 526 or the 100th percentile. So I made a lot of these mistakes along the way to get to that score. So if you like content like this, then like this video, subscribe to our channel because we're gonna keep it coming. But for this video, let's talk about why across all sections of the MCAT, but especially CARS, it is better to just read the passage first instead of going straight into the questions. And let me say this strategy usually comes from a good place. Like I understand like people are trying to make sure that they know what they're looking for in the passage, thinking that they're gonna save time by reading the questions first and just, just getting that information out of the passage, right? They don't need all of this other extraneous information that the passage has and I understand it feels efficient right because even when I break down passages on this channel a lot of times I'll be going through a passage with you guys and I'll be like oh it seems like maybe they'll ask me a question about this like can this enzyme inhibition that they talked about in the passage and then I'll go through all the questions and they never ask me about it so like why am I reading about it but in most cases I think that going to the questions first ends up breaking your focus and slowing you down in the end. And I think the first reason is because switching contexts across different ideas and different content takes time. What I mean by that is when you're reading four, five, six, seven questions and you're holding them all in your head, you have like this sort of partial information. Then you start to go back and actually read the passage and you're starting to try to mentally link each paragraph to something in your head that you only halfway remembered in the first place. And what you end up doing is you're going back and forth. You're hunting for details. You're going back to reread the question. You're going back and trying to find where you left off and it just ends up wasting time. It's fragmented, it's mentally exhausting, and it's not nearly as efficient as it feels. The second reason why I don't like the strategy is because I think you miss the big picture. And we talk about that a lot on this channel, right? Not only for cars, like the main idea is like God tier, but even with science passages, the MCAT rewards understanding relationships so linking a cause to an effect or linking um, an experimental design to a result interpretation linking some research question or hypothesis to the data that supported it I mean all of those relationships that you really only get comprehensively when you read through the entire passage as it was meant to be read if you skip straight to the question you miss how those paragraphs in each passage connect with each other. And then you'll get tripped up on these answer choices that may seem technically true or they're factually true, but they don't answer the question or they don't reflect what was said in the passage, which is a common trick that we talk about on this channel especially for like cars and stuff. The third reason why I think it's so important to read the passage all the way through first, and this is a huge thing for me, and I can't stress how important it is for you to have a solid system when you're going through the test. It's going to help not only with your score, but it's also gonna help so much with test anxiety. If you have a perfect like algorithmic way of which you go through a passage, and you read the answer choices. So if you're going through and you're like, oh, this passage looks too long, I'm gonna to skip to the, to the questions and read those first, then I'll go back to the passage. This one looks shorter, like I'll read the passage first on this one. Like switching those strategies in the middle of the test is not going to lead to the best score that you can make. It's going to make you feel rushed, it's going to make you actually inefficient, and it's going to lead to a lower score. You need a system, you need a rhythm. And to me personally, like reading the questions first throws me off balance. Like yes, I have always read the passage first. Well, not always, I've tried reading the question first. I'd hated it. But when you get to those difficult passages, you want to be able to fall back on the systems that you have in place, the things that you have practiced, the things that you know work. But I understand like the MCAT is under a huge time crunch, right? So what do you do instead to make sure that you are doing this efficiently and you're not wasting time in the passage because I get it. Instead of reading the questions first, here's what I recommend. Always read the passage all the way through the first time with just enough 
focus and detail to know what's the main topic, what are the key relationships, and then what are what is the flow of like the experimental design. Because you don't need to memorize every detail. The questions will tell you what to go back for, and especially on science passages, it's not that big of a deal to go back. Like I go back for most questions in science passages. But if you have read the passage all the way through with this kind of structure in mind, then you'll not only, you may already know it, before you eat, like you don't even have to go back in the passage, but you'll also know where to look if you need to go back to the passage. You won't be scrambling. And if you are a fan of this channel, then you know we're, we are a fan of flowcharting our passages so that we understand the basic sciences. But really the reason why we love flowcharting so much is because it will tell you what's the topic, like what's the key like relationships or concepts in this passage. And then what's the experimental design. Like that's like pretty much what we write down on flowchart. The moral of the story is you're either going to spend time up front by reading the passage or you're going to spend more time and some of that time is going to be wasted by going back and forth between question and passage not having a great idea of what you're really looking for what the passage really even says because remember this this is probably the most important thing for this whole video reading the passage straight through does not slow you down disorganized thinking slows you down. So have that system of reading the passage through every time and just do it over and over and over. Get your reps in. Now for cars specifically, multiply everything I just said by 10. Because <laughs> in cars, the structure of how you read a passage is like everything. Like what is the main idea of the passage? How does the author feel about this? Those tone words that you will only pick up from a small detail that you have to read. You know, you'll get that contrasting word, that blah, 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 but blah, 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 that sh just entirely shifts the author's tone and the viewpoint. Because if you go into the passage looking for answers before you even understand the argument that has been presented to you in the first place, you're going to fall for the car's traps. And the car's is so hard, don't make it harder on yourself by making it so easy to fall into those little question and answer choice traps that we've talked about a lot on this channel. And cars to me was like the, definitely the hardest time crunch. And so it's where consistency matters the most. And so just always have that system again of reading the passage first and then doing the questions. So to wrap it all up, Yes, Reddit is gonna tell you that reading the questions first is a shortcut, it's a life hack. It is not. It usually leads to more confusion and wasted time and lower scores. The MCAT rewards structure and focus, not you getting some detail from one sentence in the passage that happened to have the same word as the question stem that you just read. I think I've pounded that idea into the ground enough now. If you want more MCAT advice, more MCAT prep, help, anything like that, check out our channel. We have lots of links in the description below. We have a whole website about this. We give out tons of free stuff. We also have paid resources if you need a little extra boost. All the links will be down below. Let me know what you wanna see next in the comments. Bye.